Howdy folks, we're going to have a short video for programming the Pulse Precision 24 metering pump. The first thing is to connect the uh, flow meter to the cable that comes with the Precision 24 pump. There are three color wires on the uh, flow meter on the uh, uh, flow meter and there are seven wires on the precision digital cable and you are only going to use two of the wires from each thing and that is the white common wire white goes to white and red from the flow meter goes to the green wire on the cable from the precision digital so it goes white to white and red to green and when you have those hooked up now you will make the connection so that when a gallon of water flows through the meter then it'll send a pulse and that will trigger the thing to pulse and squirt chlorine however many times per gallon that you choose to do it so when you apply power to the pump, the first thing that you see is 0% on the digital screen. That's just telling you, I have power now. It's not on yet. It's just in standby mode. When you press and release the start stop button, it will go into whatever mode it was programmed in last. Right now it's in manual, which is why you can hear it. Pump, pump, pump. So right now it's in manual mode and it is pumping. You'll leave it in manual mode or you'll change it to manual mode in order to prime the pump. And then after the pump is primed, you'll go back and set it to the pulse setting. So now I'm going to show you how to set it between the manual setting and the pulse setting. You press the button once and get back to your standby screen, which is the 0%. And then you're going to press and hold the start stop button. Before I do this, I want to say you press and hold it for a long second and boom, you're in the programming menu. And if you don't press a button for five seconds, boom, you'll go right back out of the programming. So it's easy to get into and it also goes out automatically, sometimes faster than you'd like. But that's just what you have to overcome there. Press and hold it. It goes, it went to the value of six, which is where I last, last left it. Don't use your scroll, your green scroll up and down. I already went back out of it. I poke it, and there it goes back in. Poke the start-stop button until you get to zero. The parameters go from zero to eight. Uh, zero is doesn't matter one way or the other. Number one must be set at 180. Two is setting it at 38. I'll be explaining that in a little bit. Three does not matter. It has a value of 80, but that doesn't matter. Four is zero. That doesn't matter. Number five is on zero. That means it's on manual. Now hit your green scroll button, and you'll change it to five and one. Now it's on pulse. And then when you go to number six, I've got it going to pulse for three times every time I go through, uh, every time a gallon goes through. It's going gonna, it's gonna to pulse three times. So now back down to the programming, and it's back at zero. Now, when I press and release the stop start button, I do not have the word manual. I'm at zero, and it is now in pulse mode, and I'm going to breathe, uh, blow through the meter, and then uh, trigger the, trigger the uh, pump. So that was one gallon. It pumped three times. And that was the second gallon because I blew through two gallons, and it pumped three times. So that's what will be happening when you have flow running through it. Even counted another one there. <clears throat> now, you can set the value, obviously, from 100 down to 50. And uh, that is not really going to change anything except for the volume down there. The flow is the speed. The flow is the speed of the water going through the pump, and that's controlled by this. So there isn't really a speed setting when you're on pulse because the speed of the water is determined by the water flowing through the meter. Now, when you back out of here and you go back into the programming and you go around the horn again and put it back, number five, go to zero. Now it's on manual. And now go back to the zero, which means it's on standby poke it one more time now it's pumping on manual and because 38 i had 38 i had 38 at that one parameter the pump pumps a liter per hour 
uh, it pumps a gallon per hour, or one gallon is equal to 3.785 liters, so 3.8 liters per hour. So that's telling you what the flow is. If you left the pump running constantly, you're pumping 3.8 liters, or one gallon per hour, which is the maximum speed of the pump. And if you turn it down, then the set value goes down and the flow goes down. You don't really need to worry about that, whether you're using the pump in a manual application or, or as it's normally used at in a pulse application. What you mostly want to accomplish is start applying chlorine and then measure for a residual after the contact tank before the filter and then adjust the pump up or down accordingly or if you have to adjust the solution strength in the tank. But that is basically it. Again, to review, the white wire goes to the white wire and the red wire from the flow meter goes to the green wire on the metering pump and that's how you hook up the metering the the flow meter and then the buttons scroll and change really quickly when you're on zero that's standby press it once and it'll go to whatever it's programmed at right now it's at manual press it again when you're on standby is when you can enter into the programming by giving a slightly long press it immediately goes in three two one zero one more second gee there it goes and now it's back out again so press and hold it it goes right into it and then poke the start stop button repeatedly to scroll through the menu options there are nine menu options zero through eight Zero does not matter. One must be at 180. Two must be at 38. Three does not matter. Four does not matter. Five is where you control. Zero is manual. One is pulse. Six is how many pulses per gallon? Three, three pumps, per, three squirts per each gallon, one squirt per each gallon, whatever you threat, set it at. Number seven is nothing. Number eight is nothing. You're back to the beginning. And then either wait or long press, hold it. It goes back. You're back in uh, manual, poke it again. And now, once again, I'm back in non-manual because I set it on pulse. And that's how it works, folks. Thanks.